Okay, here we go, chat. Here we go. There is a little bit of um, how this VTuber exposed as a hypocrite. Oh, oh, chat. A VTuber, a hypocrite. She is a hippo. Oh my lord, chat. We stopped calling women hippos a long time ago. Wastelands known as Twitter. New wars are constantly waged in the name of fighting for what is right. For some, a fierce battlefield, which is only a keyboard and a con- Ew, why am I getting flashback and trauma PTSD from the Russian dude that did Lost Ark videos? Controversial opinion away, but for others- Wait! Before we get into this, chat- She's coming home! Oh my god, that's me, chat. They're cosplaying me right now. Wait. Oh my god. She's coming home. Her lashes need some work, allow me. Oh my god, Withering Waves, best game. Anyways, wait, why is two gorillas fighting? What am I watching? A complete and utter zoo to check out who has the least amount of IQ among all the monkeys. A true paradise for everyone and also a great platform where- Keemstar, oh my god, drama. People like to self-report. Yes, today we will be talking about a real self-reporter, namely okay. a VTuber by the name of Mina Aoyama. Now, allegedly, this VTuber okay, is VTubers? once again another person that VTuber likes drama? to pander to Twitter. Meaning okay, I'm getting annoyed by this guy's long intro. Let's summarize it, chat. Anything she posts, she's like, oh, I don't know what I posted. Oh my god, Twitter, my cash should be. I, I gotta be careful about what I say. Okay, what is Twitter saying? Tactome bad? Okay, tactome bad. Just kidding, guys. Unlike some people, she's not that far gone yet. Emphasis on the word yet. Anyways, you get my yeah, point. She's okay. one of those people. This time, however, it actually backfired. Yes, oh. even the Twitter mob started to put their brains back into their heads and realized that she's full of shit. Now, oh as you can see- Oh my lord, full of shit! Even by simply looking at her profile picture, you can see that she's into Yuri, which is a Japanese term for lesbian, I think. What's- what's- what's bad with that, though? What's wrong with Yuri shit, though? And while the posts on her main account are actually pretty tame, when we get to our alt account on the other hand, Okay, what's gonna be on this chat? Can I- is this safe to even watch on stream? Now I'm gonna pull it out on- mm. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it out on my second monitor and check it out because I don't know, I don't want to see no titty and get banned. And I love it when women are mean to me. Oh great, she's a masochist too. She constantly posts some lesbian or woman stuff, which I'm not gonna judge you for. That's someone else's job. Okay, so let me get this straight. This guy is hampering too much on the fact that she's a lesbian. Like, who gives a fuck if this bitch enjoys Yuri love? And who gives a fuck if she likes fucking eating carpet? Like, what? Like, he's making such a big deal about lesbian. Like, you sound very weird. A kind of serial But anyways, I'm gonna let him cook because maybe he has something to do with it. Waiting for the right moment to exter Maybe has something to do with the fact that she's a lesbian and a hypocrite or something. I don't know. Let's continue reading. Eliminate your entire bloodline. But this is her way of basically pandering to the LGBT community. I don't know if she herself is a lesbian. I mean, it's clear she's like the biggest coomer. The moment she sees a fucking woman, she legit like or. Okay, why is this man going on about her being a lesbian? Yeah, oh my god, I'm so over like, this. What the fuck? That's crazy, bro. This is crazy. The blush? You guys, the blush? The blush? <sighs> okay. But obviously, this. Maybe she gets exposed and she's not really a lesbian. In fact, she is. Maybe she's. A lesbian phobic or something. Normally isn't much of a problem. I mean, oh god. Sim simply because okay. the characters are meant to be looked at in a very respectful manner, of course. 
That's just the incentive behind the way the characters are designed. But she randomly up and decided to go against this universal principles the gacha games have. Okay. June 18th is the day people finally got fed up with her shit. When Mina tweeted out, the last 10 seconds of that trailer was unnecessary and really reduced how powerful of a character Firefly could be. But instead, they reduce her to waifu like come on oh i saw this tweet i even replied to it chat oh my god am i part of drama now and let me show you the ending she's referring to right now guys yep we see firefly there and then look who's walking up to her oh it's it's it was Kalos, but they didn't even show his face. It's it's Kalos, guys, because the thighs aren't there, you know. Kalos looking kind of stiff, you know. I don't anyways, know anything anyways, about anyways, this. Anyways, that's what Mina's talking about. Those were the last 10 seconds that were unnecessary and really reduced their power to a damn waifu. Like, come on. But the absolute irony of her saying this last line, reducing her to yeah. a waifu, come on. When she's literally doing exactly that, reposting oh, all these female characters oh, in this way. What do you think you're doing? You're the one literally that is reducing true, them into a waifu. Like, this is such terrible fucking hypocrisy. Like, That's look true, at this chat. shit. Look at all this fucking art she's reposting, bro. Like, what the fuck? But it's probably just exclusive to Twitter, man. Give her a break. She's probably not that way on street. So, it's so say so. That is so cringe. <laughs> God damn it, not another fucking table. What is it with these Not lesbians and their tables, man? Nobody likes you, table-kun. Now, I can't believe I have to say this, but the entire point of releasing female characters to an audience of mostly men is to obviously sell her True. as a fucking waifu. They are yeah. over-sexualized because of that fact, which is the reason people like Timmy can't leave Genshin alone, because... Oh no, what would happen if they leave their wife? So that's it? They're that's the drama? You. Yeah, I guess the drama is... Uh, so far, what I'm getting at is this chick who is overly, like, Yuri Love, you know, this lesbianic... Um, thing with waifus and stuff much like i do with jinshi right there's a lot of chicks that do that and they admire a beautiful woman like you guys do um but then she made a tweet and said come on stop making uh, the latest character into this waifu bait kind of thing right um why can't she just be cool and powerful instead you're reducing to her waifu which is a little bit ironic or a little bit hypocritical considering the fact that she is um literally the audience that the game developer is catering catering to they're Yelan for another game for what would they think when timmy isn't actively jacking off to them oh no now timmy you do not want to teach you do not leave genshin alone you continue picking that mint while looking yeah. at eula's ass that's obviously the main point the main audience they're going for with all these female characters it's what makes them the most fucking money. And while they do That's not mention true. all the NSFW communities, they know that that part of the internet greatly helps their sales, keeps the players engaged to their waifu, and some might even have discovered Genshin through that stuff. Crazy. I yeah. also want to point out something very interesting. The one time she's complaining about someone being reduced to a waifu is the time Kalos, a male, gets romantic with Firefly. A female. Hey, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. It may I just be a coincidence. I don't like the narrative that he's hampering too much on the whole lesbian thing. It's just unimportant, I feel. Hey, he's uh, like hampering too it's much on the whole lesbian aspect. Anyways, my then she actually followed it up saying, I'm going to state this. I'm not here to argue with anyone. If you like the ending, good for you. I didn't. And that's okay. We're allowed to have different opinions. You didn't like the ending? You want to know what the funny thing is about all this? He actually posted the reaction to YouTube. So let's... Let's see how she reacted live. Yes, she sees him. And she's staring. That's it. Very cute ending.
But yeah. She literally calls it a very cute ending. Like, what the fuck? So, where exactly was the problem while you reacted to the entire thing? Because I don't see it. It's strange how you retrospectively change your opinion while calling it cute in your initial reaction. Wait, that is kind of, um... I don't think you should harsh judge her too harshly about her changing her opinion as well. That happens when you're a new character, new hype comes out for a new game. It's a whole different opinion than when you take your blinders off later on. You, you probably have a different take on it after. I mean, so I don't think there's anything wrong with her changing the way she's said it on her stream and then tweeted about it. Because that really shit happens, right? You're excited about a new game. You're excited about a new character. And you're going to give a two vastly, mostly, most likely going to give two different takes on it. Once you've nutted, your post-nut clarity kicks in. And then you're like, okay, man. Yeah, the, the story wasn't that great. But anyways. Strange, you know. But hey, is what it is, man. Is what it is. However, despite her not even acknowledging this entire incident on YouTube, she got a whole 1,800 dislikes. So basically, one in five people actually disliked this precisely because of the shit that she said on Twitter. But I'm gonna get to the best part of this in a okay. bit. Now, where did all those dislikes come from? Well, obviously from her own community. What and game let is me he tell playing, you, when chat? your what own is community game? is out there exposing you, turning their backs against you, you know you don't fucked up. So this person basically replies, across a myriad celestial, an animated short, and a character trailer, she gets barely a 10 second tease with the MC. How does that reduce her character? Asking the logical question here. And then she actually responds to this saying, because for three patches, she has been nothing but the main character's girlfriend. They show a whole trailer of Firefly coming to terms with a mortality and the peace of acceptance then ruin it oh by God. introducing waifu bait egg gotcha players are fucking freaks bro who gives a fuck about the fucking story that much Again, this isn't a target to male trailblazer either i'd be annoyed if it was femme Trailblazer 2. Me? Mm. Yeah, again, gotcha. Uh, yeah, you're a fucking freak. <laughs> Surely she's telling the truth, guys. Surely her reaction would have been the same if it was Stell instead. Surely she's not a deranged, sexist hypocrite. Oh, wait. This isn't a target to male Trailblazer either. I'd be annoyed if it was fan Trailblazer 2. Uh -huh. You're not gonna convince it's anyone not that with that. Deep, when man. this is your reaction to a two second interaction from a trailer between two females it's obvious your only problem is with little kalos it's been a while little billy it's been a while little billy <laughs> yikes this is the fucking re wait so this isn't the target to mel to be honest either i've been annoyed if it was a femme to be honest you're not going to convince me anyone you're not going to convince anyone with that when this is your reaction to a two-second interaction from a trailer between two females. It's obvious your only problem with it is Celis. What the fuck? This is the reaction? You, you got that aroused in two seconds. Holy shit. Have you played the story with your eyes closed? She is not just main character's girlfriend. The monologue in the secret base keeping her identity as Sam. Her standing up to Sunday. If 10 seconds of fan suffers that calls back to 2.0 story is too much to you, then you're just salty and hate Kalos. No, guys, leave her alone. Surely she would have shit that either way. I think she's done a fair bit more than be the main character's girlfriend. Yeah, there's been a shift ease, but she quietly carried a massive chunk of the story in terms of actions. Also, wouldn't making a new connection with someone be part of coming to terms with her mortality and acceptance? Holy fucking true. I'm Chat, sorry, how many Mina, of you guys just... keep up with the story of Honkai Star Rail? Do you guys are you guys these people you get so invested in it like do you get mad when the story doesn't go your way do you guys get like emotional and shit about it nah because see when i say these gotcha freaks i don't typically mean people who keep up with the story and people who um enjoy a good story that's fine but i think when you start getting into this weird like um i could i wanted the story to be like this and then you're like start tweeting about it and you start getting angry and to this and you st your emotions start 
reaching the surface because something didn't go the way you planned i think that's what who i'm referring to with these gotcha freaks not the people that enjoy a good story and the narrative and people are enjoying it a little bit that's fine you know i don't care about stories and gotcha games or any games in general um but if i did i don't think i'd be feeling too invested in it like this comes across as yeah. hypocritical when you ship her so I think it's much a little too Alden. invested. Why does it become character reducing all of a sudden when it's with the main character? So even her own fans have caught on to the disastrous hypocrisy that is her opinion on her meeting with Kalos. Like holy shit. Look at this one. I'd be annoyed if it was Femme Trailblazer 2. Showing a tweet from her on June the 6th saying I would give my soul for Robin to be canonically flirting game with firefly holy shit that is a caught in 4k moment right there you can't make this shit up man you I... actually can't make this shit up this is insane he's fucking idiots bro he's fucking idiots and while we're on the topic of robin wendy robin tech drama oh my youtube doesn't want me to watch this chat my youtube doesn't want me to watch this it's over in the vast yikes this is the fucking re i'm gonna give my take on this whole drama in a second, I'm gonna oh, try what's to... going on? Which if you're curious about it, you can check my video on it, link below. She actually made a tweet saying, If you comment on my Robin post that she looks breathable or she's straight to get a rise out of me, I will block you. You are allowed to have whatever thoughts you want about the character, but I'm also allowed to not like it and want to see it. Yes, I have my own thoughts on what characters I like in headcanons, but I will never go into yeah. someone else's face and impose the them on- The whole tech tone drama that people like were crucifying this man because he said he wanted to make sweet love with a character in the game is crazy dude another person why can't others have the same courtesy so basically fancy their one-on-one i hate drama whatever whatever which is fine obviously better that than calling what tecton did to rob and fucking sexual assault like holy shit the mental illness with that one but when reading tecton's tweet again saying is robbing the most fuckable character in honkai sorel it kind of does seem like she's taking a shot at Tectome, but who can say for sure, you know? So you can't view women as worthy if they have romantic interest? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, what is up with that, man? Oh, so now that they're in a romantic relationship, she's not valuable anymore. She's suddenly nothing but- Now you understand why I'm calling these gotcha people fucking freaks? Who the fuck has this much fucking time to invest in this fucking shit, dude? That's fucking crazy. Make his girlfriend and go another. Who gives a fuck if this Mina chick is a fucking uh, is a lesbian and likes lesbian stuff? Like that is too much time invested in uh, some uh, like going deep in her. Uh, <laughs> that sounds so weird. It's I don't know, Chad. I, I'm gonna Other give. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let him continue to cook for a little bit more, and I'll give my final synopsis. As soon as a woman gets a lover, you start viewing her as nothing. Isn't that actually a thing in some cultures where they get married off and then they're just the property of of the husband? Not a good look, Mina. Not a good this look. This video is trash. But dude, this is the whole gotcha community. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe maybe some of you guys in my chat who play gotcha um, games are not uh, that invested into this. That's cool. You guys are a part of the sane crowd Fans are saying this. but there's a lot of people in this community and gotcha communities that really get too deep into this there's a lot of those people that um that if you tweet something that goes against uh, the, uh, the narrative they're going to crucify you and there's people that pay too much fucking attention to all of this here's another one no you wouldn't be upset if it was still this you firefly number one she's so cute what did i say guys what did i say literally before this i was like wow i just want firefly be a really cute girl we date we have fun with you know and they're giving me they're giving me that they're giving me what i want absolutely cinema <laughs> this is the person saying oh i wouldn't care if it was kayless or stell it doesn't matter to me i'd still complain this one drove it home guys she either hates yeah. straight relationships or she hates men i'm also leaning towards the hating men side now i don't know if you can actually call someone sexist off of doing this type of shit because it's a fictional character well that's a bit of a stretch because uh, let's say it's a lot of this is true and she only really enjoys plots that has lesbianism in it to call her a uh, um to say that she hates men because she's a lesbian is a stretch. Oh, bro. That is a big stretch. That why even mention that? This guy is trying to paint a narrative of 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 her. He, this is super exaggerating. Other, not that shit again. I'm not sure if it's right to call her that because some people have been calling her that. But this is a red fucking flag for sure. Holy hypocrites! And we have multiple other people also calling her out for the fucking hypocrisy she did. What the fuck? Proceeds to argue. True. Another one. What's this? Folks, eventually building the plan of the festivities we have today. <gasps> God, all these fucking influences, man. They need to go to a mental... I think that this whole video 
It's a fucking reach and a half, dude. The asylum, what the fuck was that reaction? I don't know this chick. So I'm I'm done watching the video, by the way. They're not real, Jimmy. I'm done watching the video. My god. Fuck. I think I got it. So I think I got enough of it. I think I know the narrative and what they're trying to say. So let me summarize this. Civil in this case. And give you my, so these my were take some on rabid this. Leftover fan that got in on the situation a little late. Or maybe even realized that comments were getting fucking deleted. If that ain't a pussy move, let, I don't know what... Let me, let me give you my take on this whole thing. Here we go. My take on this whole gotcha stuff is, number one, I think that him hampering on the fact that she's a lesbian and she has a lesbian profile and she's into Yuri love and stuff like that. I don't know if this chick is actually lesbian. Nor do I give a fuck what the hell she thinks about women and men. Period. I don't even think that that should be brought up into question to begin with at all. Um, I think it was a little bit borderlining um, homophobic in a weird way that this man made such a big deal out of her um, preference of what she wants to see in a game or not. Uh, I think that was a really weird. Um, but anyways. And then... In the video, kind of, I know that he didn't say it and he was saying more that other people were saying that she should be canceled because she hates men. That is a huge reach as well. Because you love pussy, it doesn't mean you hate men. That's so fucking weird. Um, or, or in quotations, you want to pretend that you like women. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, her sexual preference, I think that is not even here or it's not here or there the woman came out and said she didn't like the firefly ending because she felt that they put her into the more waifu category and that she wishes it would have been more of a power thing she would have been more powerful instead of just being some waifu which is a very valid opinion. Who cares if her past shows off that she likes a lot of waifu stuff? It, people are people are free to to judge games differently. If she felt a certain type of way at the beginning and she loves waifus and stuff and she wanted all this waifu stuff and she reacted like she really loved waifus, she could have the opinion of maybe wanting Firefly to be more powerful than being a lesbian character or being a, a waifu. She could have had that opinion. People have multiple opinions with the way they want to digest a certain story. She is entitled to her opinion. It's just really weird that everybody wants to go in and nitpick what she wanted out of the game. She is... She has her valid points and what she wants from a game. It's just really weird that people are going to dissect her comments and then say, and even go as far as to say she hates men because she loves more lesbian stuff. That's just a stretch. I think this whole topic and this whole crucifying this chick, if that is actually what's happening, it just points out how fucking weird and fucking freaky these gotcha fucking freaks are. And this is not to every person who enjoys a good gotcha, but this is just a, a very good inside look, inside look at how weird people in the gotcha community can be from both angles from every angle you're too fucking invested in what the the narrative of the game is that you're like you're like microscoping telescoping everything you're it's just too much people have too much fucking time in their hands yeah i don't know i just feel like um the witch hunt for that comment is weird but if um I hon honestly, I I think that the eighty percent of the people who are witch hunting this chick for preferring more lesbian um, stuff and uh, people who are crucifying for her for not enjoying the Firefly thing and calling her a hypocrite are fucking weird. Like you're twelve years old and you're fucking weird. Like it's not that deep, bruh. Let her give. Let her share her own opinions. Like who cares? If she is, if she is a big hypocrite, who fucking cares? Who cares, bro? Who cares if she wants more Yuri love and who, and if she didn't like the Firefly ending and she tweeted that it's, that, that, people just have too much fucking time, bro. Yeah. People have too much fucking time.
um but yeah my uh that was it if you liked my reaction to this comment like and subscribe youtube and leave. do you like um gotcha games <laughs> i don't know and that has been it hey you going somewhere well before you go somewhere how about you hit that follow button comment like and subscribe do yourself a solid help a girl out <laughs> Okay, that was major cringe. Just hit the follow button, subscribe or something. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Bye.